Nearly two weeks after the midterm elections, a number of key races were decided this weekend, most notably the U.S. Senate race in Florida. Republican Governor Rick Scott edged out Democratic incumbent Bill Nelson. Here's Tony DeCopel. Well, things worked out a little differently than Grace and I had hoped. Democrat Bill Nelson conceded the election to Republican Rick Scott, formally ending the incumbent senator's campaign. In a statement, Governor Rick Scott said he thanked his opponent for his years of public service and that it's time to get to work in Washington. We are in a journey. A round of applause on Sunday ended 13 days of political drama in the Florida governors and Senate races, which included lawsuits, a lot of political rhetoric and multiple recounts. Broward County's election supervisor Brenda Snipes admits there is room for improvement. It's a big operation, but uh, there are some things that need to be tweaked on all sides in terms of the processes that make up elections. Democratic nominee Andrew Gillum conceded Saturday night to Republican Ron DeSantis. Nobody wanted to be governor more than me. This was not just about an election cycle. Uh, this was about creating the kind of change in this state uh, that really allows for the voices of everyday people to show up again. As Florida starts to certify their election results, California is nearing a historic completion of its own. Democrat Gil Cisneros won California's 39th congressional district, sealing a Democratic majority in Orange County and turning what was once a Republican stronghold and the birthplace of former President Richard Nixon entirely blue. The party now also controls every statewide elected position. And believe it or not, the midterm elections are still not over. Elaine, President Trump will be traveling to Mississippi next Monday for a race between incumbent Cindy Hyde-Smith and Democrat Mike Espy. Voters will decide that race November 27th. All right, Tony DeCopel, thank you.